Hi guys, hello and welcome to Buddha Nation production. today it is one of the best cameras out there I believe based on my research I go ahead and open it you can both take a look at it and see what's inside it will come it came with the grip and an extra battery um, let's take a look oh so here's the extra this is the grip it look like and here's the extra battery and uh, one at a time put this box away and here is the lumix lumix s1 so let's go ahead and open this baby okay so here we are we're gonna open it and we're gonna take a look at it inside together To move the camera a little further back right now i'm shooting with my gopro and this is supposed to replace my gopro uh, so we can do a better videos hopefully i've seen a lot of uh, other videos out there unboxing but i figured i might as well do it as well and as we start using this camera um, i learn i can share my experience and knowledge based on the stuff I see. So here's the manual in different languages. I usually don't like to read the manual. So I will go ahead and put it back. Let's see what we have here. So here is the kit lens it looks like. So this is the kit lens. Here is the little hood that sits in front of it. So I'm gonna take this baby out. Wow, this is big. A lot of people have been complaining that this camera is way too big, but figure if you want something reliable, fast, that works for many years to come, you might as well build it right. So here's the lens. This is the 24 to 105. Here's the little hood. I believe this is the charger and the cables and stuff. So let's take a look together. Comes with a lot of goodies. Here's the strap. This is a USB, USB-C cable. I don't know what this one is yet. I think this is actually for the HDMI cable something. Uh, here's the battery. I believe it's supposed to be 3000 milliamps, so it's supposed to last for a while. Um, yep, 3050. There you go. We will need to charge that. And I guess this is this is a USB C charger. And you also get a ah, interesting. So you have the USB C charger to a regular charger that connects to this thing when you put your battery in and you connect the USB-C to here it's a lot of cables for charging your battery but I guess it is what it is and here comes the good part the camera itself yeehaw Let's see how we can take this out without me dropping it. You don't want to do that, right? Let's see. So here's the camera. Wow. 
thing is massive. It's a beast. Here it is. Wow. I always wanted to have one of these or a professional camera. I did have the Sony 6000 for a while and I sold it and that one is waiting for a full frame. A7 III came, A7 II came, III came. None of these had uh, full frame with 60 frames per second. So I really wanted that. So I waited and finally this baby came and this is going to be it which I'm going to use to shoot my uh, YouTube videos and photography and a little bit of everything, hopefully. So, I'm going to try to put the lens on, see how it looks. If I can figure it out. I guess, well, there's a, it does have a lock, so you have to unlock it with this button here in order to take the lens off, I guess, or the lens hood in this case. So here's the lens, the camera, I'm going to line up the little two dots, red dots, and put this baby in. There you go. Wow. Look at this baby. This is the battery. It came with a little plastic bag to be able to put that in here. I guess to keep it, I don't know, safe so it doesn't short something. And uh, here is the grip. I'm gonna open that. Let's take a look at the grip to see. And here's the grip. Take a look and see how this thing will fit on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down for a second. Uh, so this thing was sitting right on top of the connectors and I believe Let's take a look. At the bottom of the camera, there is a little plastic knob here. I'm going to take that out. And this actually goes inside here so we don't lose it. And I believe we attach this to right inside here to put it away so we don't lose it. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach the grip to here. So, there it is. It's gonna go in here. And based on the stuff I've seen, I guess this is still waterproof, even with, uh, or not waterproof, but uh, if you get rain and stuff on it, uh, moisture proof, I guess or dust proof with the grip even being on it so which is nice um, looks pretty solid here there you go it's pretty big but it feels good it's not too heavy it's nice we will play with this and come back with some videos and pictures and results Thank you and have a great day. Love you guys all. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Take care and see you guys soon. Thank you.